I've been obsessed with gardening and plants for as long as I can remember. And it's a passion that I love sharing, particularly with my kids. Ah, oh, snail! <laughs> there is a snail. Wow! <laughs> I have two little boys, Noah and Marlon, and I love getting out there and getting their hands dirty. When it comes to plant styling, a lot of people tell me that they just don't know where to start. So my advice is to get out in nature, take a walk through a new garden and see how different plant combinations work together. Then take that inspiration back home to your place. If you've got an indoor space or a fabulous blank canvas like this that you want to dress up, then the first thought might be to get out the paint tin. But I think you should go to the garden centre instead. I reckon I can transform this space into a beautiful urban jungle using the right collection of plants and pots. I love mixing and matching different plants with different pots to get the right look. So I'm going for a kind of colour combination of greys, pinks and whites which work really well together. I'm also going to throw in a few of these sort of Asian style pots just to add a little bit of personality to the space. Now when it comes to trying to get the right look, there are different ways of doing it. You can go a little bit old school, so you can do what I did and go collage and come up with sort of different combinations that you think might work well together. Or there are some really good apps on the market now that enable you to take a photo of the space and then drop and drag all the plants into position to get the perfect look. Because we're going for the jungle vibe, I really want plants that have big, bold foliage. So I've got some peace lilies here, the good old monstera or Swiss cheese plant, and then some fiddle leaf figs. You know, they're sort of plants that really fill out the space. And I'm using indoor pots. So what I mean by an indoor pot is a cover pot. If you have a look, there's no drainage hole at the bottom, which is great because it means the water won't spill out onto your surfaces. But it also means that the pot fills with water. So you never plant directly into a cover pot. Instead, what you do, is find a plastic pot the right size and plonk it in. Now, sometimes that'll be a perfect fit, but in this case, I'm just a little bit in love with this peace lily here, but it doesn't quite fit the pot, but it's an easy fix. You just upgrade your plastic pot. Repotting your indoor plants isn't just about making them look good. It can really give your plants a new lease on life. Now this one is a fairly new one, so there's not a lot that needs doing. But if you did have a tired old plant, you might want to remove any of that old manky foliage, cut back any dead or damaged roots, and then get it into a really good quality potting mix. Good quality mix is really important for good growth and performance of your plants. You give a plant a new home and it'll thank you. Now see, this is much better the perfect fit. Now that we've got all the right plants in all the right pots, it's time to pull this look together. So this is the fiddle leaf fig, which is really one of those it indoor plants and has held the title for a long time. But I like to call it the Goldilocks of indoor plants because it doesn't like it too dark or too light and it doesn't like it too wet or too dry. So yes, it can be a little bit finicky. But when you do get it right, boy, does it bring drama and lots of height to the space, which is just beautiful. But a big beast like this could set you back a few hundred dollars. So if you don't want to break the bank, then you can also get that lovely rainforest jungle look by layering your plants to create a really nice natural look. Now of course the great thing about pots is you can chop and change them from season to season to get a different look. So when you've got a long space like this, say, like a sideboard or a table, it just creates a great opportunity to go a bit crazy with indoor plants. And what I've done is I've created little groups of pots that each have their own personality but work really well together. And you can also have a little bit of fun with foliage texture and form. So what I've got here is a beautiful ruby ficus. There's also a burgundy leafed one. Really tough plant. But you can see it's got a variegated leaf with pink running through it, which is the perfect complement to our pink pots. And of course, what would the jungle look be without Tarzan-like vines hanging from the ceiling? Now, if you're a cereal indoor plant killer, this is a really good choice. This is the beautiful Devil's Ivy. And I've got it growing at home in lots of different places, everywhere from a low light bathroom right through to a kitchen with bright indirect light. And I tell you what, it thrives everywhere, a very versatile plant. 
It doesn't like to be pampered, so it doesn't need a lot of water. Just hang it up high and let those cascading stems fall to the floor. Now, this is what I call an urban jungle look. You know, it's amazing. Not only do indoor plants completely transform a room, but they can also help to make you feel good, so they have a bit of a zen effect on us. They can also help to clean the air inside your home. And the more plants, the better. So can you just imagine how you'd feel living in a jungle like this?